First, a local elementary school targeted by racist graffiti. Tonight, a community gathers together calling for an end to the hate. The vandalism happened just days before the start of the new school year. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Nicole Brewer. Yuki has the night off. Now, the story is unfolding at Herbert Hoover Elementary School in Langhorn Bucks County. Our Natasha Brown is live at Place Headquarters with more on tonight's community response. Natasha? Well, racist graffiti was actually found on windows, doors, and on a sign outside of Hoover Elementary School on Friday night. Meantime, tonight's rally, it was a town hall meeting and really trying to strike a chord with this community of healing in light of that disturbing discovery. For anyone stepping into this town hall meeting in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, the message was very clear. Hate has no place here. Acts will not be accepted in our midst. Community members came together on the heels of racist graffiti found scribbled on the Herbert Hoover Elementary School sign over the weekend. Ugly graffiti, ugly racist graffiti was found. The community is concerned about it. Kids are starting back to school next week. So we thought it would be good to bring people together and talk about their concerns. Will this be considered a hate crime? The Peace Center in Bucks County organized the gathering as concerned parents and neighbors broke into small groups to discuss the troubling incident. Organizers say cases like this are on the rise throughout Bucks County. Unfortunately, I wasn't surprised. It's, it didn't surprise me. But um, it's a good time to have this discussion and see what's the next steps. Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick returned to his hometown to address an issue that continues to be discussed on Capitol Hill after the deadly white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, two weeks ago. The tone's got to change. You know, I, I, you know after, look, look at an instance like uh, Charlottesville. The message that has to be sent is one of healing, one of unification, uh, one of speaking out unequivocally and unapologetically against hate groups. Well, there was also another act of vandalism at an apartment complex near the school as well, and police do believe the same suspect is linked to both of these cases. Right now, they have only a very vague description, a white male, late teens, early 20s, who was carrying a backpack at the time. If you have any information, please contact police right away. We're live in Langhorne tonight. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News.